the double angle identities. Now you could certainly just see these written down and memorize them and there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually great to be able to memorize things. If, on the other hand, you forget um, some of these, remember that you can always build these double angle identities from the sum identities. So let's first look at sine of 2x. Well, if I were to write the, the sum identity, that's sine of x plus y, that would be sine of x cosine of y plus cosine of x sine of y. If, however, I write sine of x plus x, which is the same as sine of 2x, well then instead of y, I'm going to write x every place here. So now I could write this as sine of x cosine of x plus cosine of x sine of x and that equals 2 times sine of x cosine of x because all I've done is just combine these terms. Sine of x times cosine of x is the same as cosine of x times sine of x. So it's just two of those. So that's it. Sine of 2x equals 2 sine of x cosine x. Let's take a look at cosine of 2x. Cosine of 2x. Well, this again can be re written as cosine of x plus x, but first I'm going to look at cosine of x plus y and run through the same thing that I did up here in the green. Uh, cosine of x plus y equals cosine of x cosine of y minus sine of x sine of y. All right. So if I had cosine of x plus x, that is if it was an x instead of a y, I could go through and substitute x in everywhere I saw a y. So I'll show that. And I've got cosine of x cosine of x minus sine of x sine of x and now this is just cosine squared minus sine squared or more specifically cosine squared x minus sine squared x so cosine of 2x equals cosine squared x minus sine squared of x. All right. Um, you could play some games with this. <laughs> Not fun games, but you could play some games, substitution games, where um, you have cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. So therefore, cosine squared of x equals 1 minus sine squared of x and uh, and then you could plug all of this in for cosine squared of x and that would then give you cosine of 2x equals 1 minus sine squared of x minus sine squared of x and this is what I've plugged in here what's in red is what I have in parentheses there uh, and and then you could just combine the the negative uh, sine squared x and a ne another negative sine squared x so that would give you let's scroll down a little bit just to give a little bit more room that would give you cosine of 2x equals 
1 minus 2 sine squared of x. So that is another identity, the double angle identity with cosine of 2x. Uh, you could also go the other way and, and recognize that cosine, or you could put it in terms of, of sine. You could say um, sine squared of x equals 1 minus cosine squared of x. And again, you could plug all of this in for sine squared there and get another identity. You could get the identity that cosine of 2x equals 2 times cosine squared x minus 1. That's from plugging this in for the uh, negative sine squared x. So a few ways to get to the double angle identities all from the sum identities. Oh, and this sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. But in any event, the idea here is that you can build the double angle identities if you don't have them readily memorized. And you can do the same thing with tangent of 2x as well.